And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use, some knowledge you can't get in college. Dog, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for all this good content we got going on. Man, make sure you get into my newest single. Your love ain't for me out now on all streaming platforms. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Tap in when you tap it in, man, because here at TNN Trap News Network, we give away five hundred dollars to the best comment. The best comment between now and fifty thousand subscribers, we'll get a five hundred dollar cash appington. We finna get into this content. Man, I ain't gonna hold y'all. We got the Jean Paul. We got back on Fig. I'm sorry, Fig. Community World. Shout out to AD. Shout out to Pun. Shout out to T Rail. Shout out to Duno. Smack not there, but it's always a big love. And shout out to Smack. We finna get into this Contiana. Let's go. We back. Man, back in the stain, back in the stain. We finna give y'all more of this fig community world. Make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all show some love to Smack. Make sure y'all show some love to T-Rail. Make sure y'all show some love to Ace Boy Pun. Make sure y'all show some love to AD. Make sure y'all show some love to uh, Duno. I said Duno, Smack, T-Rail, Ace Boy Pun. Make sure y'all show share everybody some share everybody. Words are hard. Make sure I say everybody's name. Make sure you show some love to all those gentlemen. Make sure y'all show some love to Dijon Paul, too. He is their goat. He is their ghost. He is their guest on fig community world. So make sure y'all tap in with the tap in when you tap Tapping in, how you tapping in? The Jean Paul is there showing them boys some love, man. So make sure y'all tap in, tap in, tap in, man. It's all love, it's all love. We better jump back into this Contiana without no further ado. The don't so three, two, one, let's go. Would it matter? Would it be respected by y'all? I would it be respected? By, I, I if I can't say that because I'm not a rapper. But so I'm saying like if you saw him, like, like, like if I saw it, like if I saw it, would I be like, oh, this is cool? Maybe yeah. Maybe I'll be like, oh, okay. Maybe he's right about because I'm full. As much as I don't like a lot of your takes, I can't take away some of the opinions you have. I'm glad you. So get the question is, would Mexican rappers in the Mexican community respect a Mexican rap report card curated by a black Dijon Paul? Blue F. They, they be hyping shit up. <laughs> that was last year. He didn't no, no. Shit. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't knock fool. I can't knock. Like I said, it's a lot of things I don't like that you said that you. Push, which is which is cool for where a lot of have our opinions. A lot of people don't like that these fools let me up here say nigga. People, people might be mad. How do y'all feel about how y'all feel about Duno saying nigga? Personally, it doesn't bother me. I know a lot of people. I don't I don't speak for the entire black community. I do not. I speak for myself here at TNN Trap News Network. TNN Trap News Network. I speak for that. Um, but let me know how y'all feel about uh, Duno saying nigga. And then a lot of people might not like how we get along and call each other bitch and all types of shit. So a lot of things people might not like, uh -huh. and, and, and we don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But when I'm looking at the report card <laughs> and I'm seeing an what artist that, that I'll, I'll go, I'll look him up, and they have like a thousand followers. And they drop one album and you graded them off that. And then I'm looking at like mm. a peso or a suede that are selling out the novels, touring, got songs with Ellie Chopper and all these things. It 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 does make me question. Well, like and, says, or, uh, long live or rest in peace suede at the bottom. Right? No, I, I don't yeah, no, no, no. I don't grade deceased. No, no, no. What I'm saying before he was deceased. Uh -huh. I'm saying before he was and deceased. That was on the first one. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm saying what I'm when I'm looking at it. Right, right. Like was peso on your recent one now? I don't believe so. No. Hey, I can respect the genre for not um, not grading deceased artists because that could cause a whole lot of a whoop of a whoop bam. So I can respect the genre Paul for staying all the way away from that one for sure. Well, well, so was there a reason for that, or it you was, just it you wasn't just, intentional? It, it wasn't was, intentional. It was fifty six L A rappers graded. Who else sat down and listened to fifty six L A rappers? I can't get some people to listen to five L A rappers. I sat down and listened to fifty six yeah. L A rappers music. Oh, for over a course of maybe two months because I normally do it over the holiday season. And, and but you're but. but but you're also a content person. You make content. You know what gets people riled up. When you're when you're making this report card, you're like, damn, Peso, 18 years old, 19 years old, got a song with Nelly Chopper, has millions of views in the last two weeks on his own. Mm -hmm. He's killing it. He's he's running. He's if we're talking about running laps, he's doing all these things right now. Do right. you do you sit there and hey, go like know, Peso payroll or something? No, but no. Oh, so I can't be pro Latino. Hold on, hold on. I can't be pro Latino. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. This, is, this is what I was going to say. The way that you're talking right now is is damn near mirroring what Dijon is saying. No, no, I'm not. What do you mean? When you're saying, what he's saying, like, oh, if he's looking at the radio, he wants more black people on there and more coverage and stuff like that. And you saying and basically the same thing. <laughs> no, so what he's, just, what he's no, actually... literally saying the exact same thing, do you know? And you don't understand it when it's coming from the black community, but you understand it when it's coming from the brown community, bro. You might want to just take a look in the mirror and take a step back because Dijon is able to see it from all aspects and all sides. You're having a hard time seeing it from any other aspect other than your own. 
Okay, so hold on, let me get you really what you boil what you said so we get to the fuck. I see that now. Yeah, you no, no, I get what niggas on here and these these Mexican niggas is booming. Why the fuck you ain't put these niggas on there? Is, or is more cars, but there are some Hispanic. No, no, and, and it's but not. he also just well, said based on, who sends, him, based based on who sends him music. That's yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. If you want to do it, but I think if you're covering any rap, cover it all, right? Cover it all, do it up. I get you. Absolutely, it's a lot of artists. Because then too, just because I left Earl Sweatshirt off the and I issued him a public apology. Like I fucked up. He had a great project last year, and I still left him off just because I'm human. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make mistakes. All Every right, year there's gonna be artists that's left off. Every year, but I, I promise you this: I will do a better. No, no, job. I'm not a fool. And I, including Hispanic artists. No, I'm not knocking it. Forward. But now you see the argument people have when you argue. Now you see the argument that people have when I. Argue? No, I don't care. <laughs> All right, moving forward, you could just simply send him artists to look at in the DM. Like, hey, I ain't make sure sending nobody no artists. <laughs> well, goddamn, you the one that said you don't care you about music. Yeah. Yeah. You said you yeah. talk about it. I'm just that's here to argue. <laughs> I respect it. Dude, I said, I'm just here to argue. Oh, man. For the sake of it, y'all are crazy. I mean, we do do shit like that. Let's argue for the sake of it. Hey, who do I sound like today? I mean, you came from hey, hey, over there, nigga. Hey, hey Pun. Hey, Pun. Hey, you you, 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 you yeah. baby T real today. Hey, Pun, who do I sound like? And he's just lingering it on, dude. I'm like, man, shut yeah, up. Hey, 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 Let's, uh, let's let's address the elephant in the room man, because uh, it was a lot going on with you. It's a, uh, it's a lot of people that was denying your claims, uh-huh. um, and you know wholeheartedly they they know the truth and they know what's going on. Yeah, and they're telling that their side of the story and your side of the story seems to be false in their eyes. And this is my first time um, being able to tell it. Yeah, um, and making everybody else say that it's false. Yeah, yeah, because you know when you came in here, you hopped out a wheelchair. When I seen you, you had a bandage and all. <laughs> I was here before you. I was here before you. I was here before all y'all. This is miracle. Let's be honest. He got a muffin. Put a muffin on the wound. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm not gonna do that. I got cameras in the wound. I was here before all y'all. Y'all said it. You was here before all y'all. You was shot. You know what I'm saying? So take us. You was shot. You was shot. So look. You I would say that? I was grazed by a bullet. Okay. That's, that's shot. power of work. That's what people that keep For all of y'all who said that I was lying, for all of y'all who said that I have bad information, he just said it. Y'all better apologize in my comments. Everybody who has something to say, apologize in my comments right now. I expect an apology. An apology. Because y'all was on my head, he's doing anything for clout. Come on, bro. You should respect yourself more than that. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all niggas was the moral police. Y'all was the fucking moral police. Everybody has something to say. Come on, bro. If I was you, I would do it. Everybody has something to do. Everybody has something to say about what they would do if they was me. Thank God you ain't me, bro. If you was me, you would have 80000 around your neck and gold jewelry. But you're not me, bro. But you're not me. If you was me, you would switch lanes and quarter million dollar whips. But you're not me, bro. But you're not me. Now to the Rich Trapper Mafia, y'all me. Y'all me. I'm y'all. Y'all me. I'm not talking to y'all. I love y'all. Rich Trapper Mafia. I love y'all. But to everybody who wasn't and who had something to say, who had all the ah, 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 ah about what I had going on, bro, you're not me. So don't sit here and tell me what you would do in my city. If I was you, if I was you, if I was you, you're not me, bro. You're not me. You're not me. You don't quarter million switch lanes, bro. You're not me. You don't do what I do. I don't do what you do. We don't live the same life, bro. We don't live the same life. So that's just that and that's all. That's just that and that's all. He just said it out of his mouth. He got grazed. There it go. I said the same thing in the video. There it go. There it go. There it go. My airdrop is not going through and y'all gonna have to watch me struggle with this airdrop. I don't know why it's not going through. It needs to go through because I need to get this file sent to my other phone. But don't worry about it. We're gonna keep going. Yeah, it was like a hit is a hit. If it contacted you, you got shot. shot. I say I got well, I say I got grazed by a bullet. I okay, walk there. us through that. Walk us through that day, man. Saying, without saying anybody's saying, name. Uh, without, I got yeah. you. They, people keep saying, attorneys keep saying, a hit is a hit. Everyone keeps saying that to me. Yeah. Like, if it made contact, it made contact. I believe in the power of words. I'm not inviting that into my life. Okay. I, I have people that have lost their life. I know people that have lost their life to that. So, uh, on March 25th, it was a Monday. I went in to do No Jumper News. I, I believe it was Flacco, Sharp, and myself. We did the news. Uh, we walk out. You guys know the building, so I don't have to right, tell you right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I walk out. I always sit at that conference table. You guys know the table. Right? Mm-hmm. I always sit right there, eat right there, be on my phone, get some work done. And that's exactly what I was doing. Um, Flacco left. Sharp left. Adam was in his office with the door closed. So there's no other personality. Any other, no one else was there. There was no other, no jumper personality that was there who could even speak to the incident. 
I'm the only personality sans Adam who's in his office with the door closed that was there at the time. Uh, minding my business at the table and just a loud bang, boom, or what have you. Goes off and like the gun went off under the table is what I'm assuming. So a person was sitting next to you, which was a security guard. Uh, he was at the table. He yeah. was at the, t- and the, security, you, guard, well, the security guard. Yeah, the security guard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, mm-hmm. he didn't have a gun license. The did security you, guard. Did you, you? Yeah, he don't. He, he doesn't. I have didn't a know gun. that. I didn't know that at the time. Oh. Whoa, West Hattie. He's a fig side boy. He get active. That's crazy. But you know, without that saying names, I know that now. I didn't know. Saying that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Unlicensed security guard, Adam. Wild. Wild. Ah, but you know that now. <laughs> I, I, but I swear, I didn't know that at the time. At the time, I was no just sitting there minding my business. Like I look up after the gun goes off, and I feel the pain in my uh, my thigh, my left thigh. Did you see him cleaning the gun at that time? I wasn't paying attention Whoa. to him. I was on my phone. I knew he was there, and I just said, "What's up?" But I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. I was on my phone handling something. And then you just you heard a shot go off. Heard it, felt it underneath the table, all of that. Did Talk you call nine one one there? I did not call nine one one. So you got up and left. I didn't walk and, and, and drove to the hospital? No, um, Josh took me to the hospital. Oh, Josh oh. took me to the hospital. Yes, I was took to the hospital. Josh? 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 Wowzers. What about Josh? And his, oh. That's my whole theory of me getting up, running, hopping, running out the building, all of that. What do you guys. But again, nobody, none you of them lied were there. To us, Adam. Josh, t- I didn't drive myself to the hospital. Josh drove me to the hospital. Hold on, real quick, man. Adam, you a wild boy. You a wild boy. Adam, twenty-two. You a wild boy. You a wild boy. Jo- let's let's run this back. Hold on. Let's let's run this back. Let me let me run this back real quick. Hold on. Hold on. He didn't have a gun license. The security guard. Did you? Oh, did you, you yeah, he don't. He he doesn't. I didn't know that. Life. I didn't know that at the time. Oh, but you know. I, what I, I was saying. Names, I know that now. I didn't know. Saying that. I didn't know that. Security I didn't know guard? that at the time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but you know that now. <laughs> I, I, but I swear, I didn't know that at the time. At the time, I was no just sitting there minding my business. I look up after the gun goes off, and I feel the pain in my uh, my thigh, my left thigh. Did you see him cleaning the gun at that time? I wasn't paying attention Whoa. to him. I was on my phone. I knew he was there, and I just said, "What's up." But I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. I was on my phone handling something. And then you just you heard a shot go off. Heard it, felt it underneath the table, all of that. Did Talk you call nine one one there? I did not call nine one one. So you got up and left. I and, walk, and, and and drove to the hospital. No, um, Josh took me to the hospital. Oh, Josh oh. took me to the hospital. Yes, I was took to the hospital by Josh. And his, oh. That's my whole theory of me getting up, running, hopping, running out the building, all of that. What do you guys? But again, nobody, you none of them were there. To us, Adam. Josh, t- I didn't drive myself to the hospital. Josh drove me to the hospital. And- Josh driving you to the hospital is wild. Adam 22 acting like he didn't know Josh took you to the hospital is wilder. This is a wild Thornberry right here. A wild Thornberry. Management, you see what I did there? This is the wildest of Thornberry. There in the ER room, the security guard followed us up there oh. against my wishes and sat in the emergency room yeah. with us against my wishes. I'm like, I don't I apologize profusely. Like, apologize maybe a thousand times. Mm. And I'm like, I don't really want you here. It wasn't until my father showed up that he respected him enough, I guess, to leave. Uh-huh. Even Josh tried to stop him from coming in the hospital because I told him, like, I don't want him here. I saw him walking up. I'm like, That's, that can't be him. Like, why is he here? Yeah. yeah. Also, so Josh drove me to the hospital. I didn't drive myself to the hospital. Yeah, we worked there for years. I didn't years. drive myself back from the hospital. So being shot, that's mm. what they think. So nothing uh, like really penetrated the skin is why, why they're saying you, you weren't actually shot and um, you can't take legal action to do anything, but you actually can, though. So a, I, a was, bullet gra- I was grazed. Yeah. I, I was grazed. I had medical. And they have a medical report of that. Correct. I went to Providence Hospital. Grazed the shot, by the way. Near. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, with power words, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, Providence Hospital is like maybe like five. five you know where it's at? Yeah. Right, right. By from the office. I don't want to give out the location, nothing, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So from from there, what are, what are you thinking there? Are you are you are you saying you know what I need to I need to take legal action? Or are you are you texting your ex employer? You know what I'm saying your boss and like where where where, is you, where are you at in the headspace? Well, when I got to the hospital, Adam texted me and those are the text. This is a woo wop of a whoopty bam, bro. The woo wopiest of the whoopty bamiest for sure. For sure. This message I showed. Oh, the screenshot text that. message. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. He texted me that while I was at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, talking about let's keep it off the podcast and all mm-hmm. that shit. And um, yeah. yeah, I was just focused on making sure. They ran like four x-rays on me. I wanted to make sure because they found, co-work, my coworkers found two bullet fragments underneath the table as well as the casing. So if you find a bullet fragments, I want to make sure there's no bullet fragment in my thigh. 
Mm-hmm. So they ran the they ran like four X rays on me when I was at the hospital to make sure that there was nothing lodged into my thigh because there was a graze mark and I just wanted to make sure. But there wasn't. Luck, fortunately, there wasn't anything lodged. In so my does thigh. so was it your de- so does Jean got shot at no jumper? I didn't lie. And Flockiana, management, what you got to say about your boy Flockiana now? Because Flockiana was talking cash shit. Flockiana was talking cash shit. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Flockiana. I can't wait. I, boy, boy, who boy. I'm going to see you soon, Flockiana. We going to talk. We going to go viral, brother, brother. Because you had so much to say, my nigga. And now look at you. Meat, mouth, mouth full of meat. You were sucking the pink meat, bro. You riding a baloney pony for Adam 22. Talking disrespect. Yeah, all right. Decision to, to leave that platform? Or, are you, or, or you know, is it a legal decision to you to where you can't be there no anymore? No, it was, my, it was definitely my decision. I took no jump around my bio. Um, I was asked to come back on several dates. If you give me a moment, I could pull up the actual dates I was asked to come back in April, um, listen to your music stream, news this day, that day, that day. And I'm like, no, I respectfully declined. I felt like I respectfully declined. Uh huh. Yes. So why do you feel like, you know, um, a person at his stature, quote unquote, you know, a person that has a hip hop platform, um, that's supposedly so respected, you know, and a businessman will go take himself on somebody else's podcast mm-hmm. and speak about an employee. Talk about the podcast with Munchie B, Richard Hart. Shout out to Munchie B. Shout out to Mariah. Shout out to Street TV. Shout out to the, uh, the Richard Hart podcast. That was grazed and shot uh-huh. at um, his, <laughs> his fucking warehouse. Okay. Like, why would you think that man would do that? Like, did you respect that at that point? Because I obviously know you didn't because you, 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 uh, um, you posted screenshots. You no, posted those he, he screenshots. You said, let's keep it off the podcast, but here you are sitting on a podcast talking about it. So now I'm sitting on a podcast talking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it off the podcast is what he texted me while I was at the hospital. He also said, um, we can read the, you want to read the, yeah, the read text them. message yeah. real quick? Give me a read them, man. Fucking bummer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to fucking. I didn't want to never so have to. Well, he heard the gun. Oh. See, here go the thing, though. Adam, you play with T Rail's family now. He playing with your business, bro. This is ugly, bro. Adam and T Rail got the nastiest work between the two of them. Adam. When he, he yeah. heard the gunshot, he came out of his office and was like, "What the fuck was that?" And everybody was like, "So and so, the security guard just fired a shot. We think Deshaun's been hit." And he just went right back in his office. That's why his text uh, oh, begins with an apology, doesn't it? Matter? Well, let's read the text. But it be, his text right back in the office. begins with an apology. That? And he just closed his door. And I never saw him again that day. Didn't hear from him until I got to the you hospital. Go to the hospital? Josh, no. Josh drove me to the hospital. Josh brought me lunch to the hospital. So Adam texted me Monday, March 25th. N- no, at 218 p.m. He said, hey, dude. And he's referring to him going back to the office. Dude. Hey, dude, I'm really sorry about this. I was kind of in shock earlier and didn't know what to say. Again, remember, he came, he heard the shot, came out the office, and I guess he was in shock. So you were there when he came out the office? Yeah. 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 yeah okay, well, I'm where we're, 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 we're asking. This is for he's getting transported I'm, I'm to the hospital. I'm asking him my friend your fucking story, bitch. Shut up. What's wrong with this guy? Damn. That's Why do y'all talk to each other like dude, that? Talk he's, to still like he's, that. he's still mad. He's still yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. Come on, All man. Right. So where was I at? Uh... Hey, dude, I'm really sorry about this. I was kind of in shock early and didn't know what to say. Um, just know we're on your side and thinking this was super effed up, fucked up, obviously. And we're going to try to do everything by the book and make sure you're good and shit. I said, I appreciate it. I know it was all an accident. Just want to get checked out and make sure everything's okay. Crazy day at the office. He said, insane. Let's keep it off the podcast and shit. I assume that means social media and shit, podcast and shit. Keep it off the media. And uh, I don't want people to feel scared. So instantly, he's trying to cover it up and conceal it. Yeah. And that would make sense because since then, they offered me money to come back and act like it never happened and just get back to work and not talk about it and act like it never happened. How much y'all for you? Which I respectfully declined. I won't go into that. Which I respectfully declined. So you was declined. offered hush money? Hush money. Yeah, yeah I was, was offered hush money to come back and act like it never happened and I declined. It. Okay. Right? I got, hold on. I got a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, so once this happened, right? Yeah. And I know that you called in and you were saying like you missed everybody and shit. Like why Not everybody, but I miss the people I do. But why did you like if you knew like the the, the seriousness of what was going on, mm-hmm. like what made you like live and, and cause I feel like that was the point to where motherfuckers would be like, nothing happened because a nigga cool. He called and saying he missed us and shit like that. I was asked by production to call into I was asked by production to be there. That that was one of the days they asked me to be mm. there. 
Um, you guys know Michael from uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Cool, 100%. that was the one I was coolest with, had the best relationship with. He hit me and asked me to call into the show, so I called into the show thinking that they're going to talk about it. Once I realized that they weren't talking about it, I hung oh, up so the you phone. thought they was alive? They was going to talk it about the shit that happened. It was a Saturday news show at the, oh. at the No Jumper store, and I had the text messages where I was asked to call. I was asked to come there and be on camera mm. and I declined then I was asked to call into so I'm thinking okay so you, feel bam- come, you felt bamboozled then I of. guess I could but in hindsight I, I should have way. never worked there when I got mm-hmm. the email from Miss Laura offering me the job I should have said hell no what made you work there what made me work what there what made you what was like the thing that sold you like alright I'm going I really felt like I could bring hip hop back to the platform I felt like it was missing I felt like it was just gang content after gang content along with who though like who else you felt was up there respectable that could hold hip hop conversations with you? Cooking. I could really hold hip hop conversations with you. With, with I, who you know, I think I, I do mean, an like, LA rap workshop with, with random people came to see their face, and we in there every uh, Sunday morning talking about hip hop. So I, 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 I mean, who you respect? Who hip hop takes you respect up there? Not um, just because all oh, they're cool people, but really, okay. I respect that you know. Well, me personally, like who um, do you respect? That you felt I could go up there and sit with him. I and, enjoyed the debates I would have with suspect. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Suspect. I really did. Hey, one thing you can't take away from the fact is Almighty Suspect is an aficionado of the hip hop culture, bro. He is a rap baby. He is a rap baby. Everybody always give love to Suspect when it comes to uh, uh, his knowledge of the hip hop culture. Enjoy those. I mean, sitting across from him and having those intense debates, especially when we would have our independent major label debates. Those were, those were some uh, good debates to me. So I would say that. Um, yeah. So you would say Suspect was probably the only credible one that you would be up there to be able to. Really, well, was the car really break down hip hop? No, if I play a song, I respect anybody' opinion as far as do you like the song or do you not. But as far as going like in depth with hip hop conversation, all my if I had to pick somebody, I'd probably say all my suspect. If I had to, pick shout out my man, you wouldn't give man. it to Flacco for music. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know he went with Drake. Radical, radical he went taste. With Drake. He went with Drake over uh, over Kendrick. That's his favorite artist. I, I did too. <laughs> yeah, you did too. Yeah, that's that's yeah. crazy. Um, but get this man some muffins. I want to see more about that. I want to hear more about this uh, money. Get him some muffins. I want to hear more about this fucking money. You finna tell me about how I'm much money too, he offered I, you. You may be off camera, I will, but I'm not. Too I mean, on camera they said ten thousand. That huh? was on camera. They said ten thousand. That's inaccurate. You wouldn't take ten thousand dollars or something. I, I, went, I wouldn't take ten thousand. That's on camera. That's not. That's inaccurate. Yeah. That's okay. an inaccurate figure. Right, but so, I would not in, in real life. I wouldn't take. 10, oh, we ain't got to talk about the yeah. money. That when you first heard the news. That they were saying like, oh, he's lying and everything like that. How did you personally feel? That's not my first interaction. It really, it really was. I believe it was Wack who was the first person to say on camera. Mm-hmm. He he kind of confirmed the situation. He made LGBT jokes and Popeye jokes with it, but everybody was sending me that clip. They're like, hey, this clip was on No Jumper a few minutes ago, but they took it down and they sent me the clip of Wack saying something about my thigh and there's going to be a delay on the report cards. He's in the ICU. Uh, LGBT this, LGBT that, uh, go to Popeyes to get a thigh. So that was the first time someone spoke mm-hmm. about it on the podcast right. that I saw. Maybe maybe someone spoke about but it. But I'm, I'm, I'm smoking. Wack wasn't there. You said the only person that was there. You said Adam acknowledged that it happened. Yeah. So you know when he, he was, first he came was in the out, office with his door closed. But I'm saying the first time that he act like. It didn't, it didn't happen. happen. How did you personally feel? Because this is the guy that employed you. This is the guy that gave you. You feel me? You looking at it like, right. oh, yeah, he gave me a chance. Right. He fucks with me. He gave me no chance. Um, I can acknowledge that it's wrong, but I can also acknowledge that that's kind of like expected. Mm. And I should have learned from you all situation. There's precedence of that type of character. There's worldly precedence of that type of character from that sort of person. So I mean, it's expected. I didn't expect him to come forward and, and be like, "Oh, he said, let's keep it off the podcast." I expected him. All right, man, we finna get up out of here next. So make sure, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for all this good content. Y'all. We got going here at TNN Trap News Network, man. There you have it. The John Paul got shot. I was right. Remember who heard it? you heard it first? Like my man, management say sometimes being first is worse than being wrong. I was first. Y'all heard it here, man. I just, my, I told y'all. Now he told y'all. Flacco tried to lie about it. Remember, I gave y'all the truth when Flacco lied. Flockiana lied about it. I gave y'all the truth about it. And here we are, man. TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college, man. Free Avenue Angel to he's free. We always get our sources together, man. Shout out to the who who told me the who-wop. We about it.